about this mask on the left? Is this, that more modern? That's another David Rubin. Okay. Uh, the, man, the man who did the Sedna with Pearl of Wisdom. And Elisa will read you the um, cultural philosophy behind this. It's called The Bird Man. And this is what David Rubin Patinkin wrote. This is called The Bird Man. The Bird Man has transformed to prove to the people in the village that he has special powers which they did not believe he had. So he decided to steal the moon. When he reaches the moon, he has grown very huge and perches on the moon. Slowly he pecks away at the moon until it, and until it is all gone. He saves a few in his mouth. Many months later, the people begin to go hungry and beg the shaman to return the moon. He listens to the pleas and slowly spits the moon back out until it's full again. <laughs> he returns to the village and the people give him fresh clothing and throw a big feast for him. He has proven himself. Oh, that's beautiful. And this is one of David Rubin's goal. He is writing down all the stories of his culture and tying, him to, tying them to pieces that he creates ex, you know, specifically for that. They're so spiritual, they're emotional, yes, and they're you right. have said that their art is their culture. Is that right? Absolutely. Well, let's talk about some of these others now. They're all so beautiful. What about the one in between the bear and the mask? That's an Inuk. And that, once again, is the uh, uh, singular name for an Inuit. And that is also a drum dancer. Uh, but it's a fine little chubby piece, is what I like to refer to it as. He is uh, standing as in the middle of the cold winter with his complete coat on. A uh, different kind of stone, totally. Um, I believe this is from Hall Beach, another area. And each area has their own stone. Uh, but once again, this is common that they would have drum dancers throughout the Arctic. Um, you said the drums are played on the rim, on the not rim, on the top. Not on the top. Oh. It kind of like gives a high whining pitch sound. It's very interesting. It must echo. And it, it's, it's eerie. And it's, but it, you know, if you image what it would, would have been like out on, in the middle of the winter, out on the ice, in, a, in an ice hut, no light basically except for uh, seal fat or seal oil, which they would burn to keep it keep them warm, and how would they entertain the kids? I mean, you know, we go on a car trip, so we buy games, and so now we have DVD players and everything <laughs> to use in the car. So they told stories of their culture, and they played games, and they sang songs, um, and they bonded very closely, because this, this was the family life, and that's why we were taken into their home once they took us in. We are part of the family. Part of the family. family. And, and they were very open and uh, very unassuming and uh, very shared their feelings and their they thoughts. Did. Oh, absolutely. Very much so. Absolutely. And we bonded, really. Beautiful. It was very it was emotional. Lovely. You yeah, know, definitely. I'm a mom. She's a mom. We talked about our kids. We talked about what we cook. Um, they, they showed us their foods. They, they cooked some foods for us that we were afraid to eat raw. Uh, <laughs> And Do they eat a lot of raw food? Mm -hmm. They would have to. Yes, because the, it's freshly. They, they only kill what they eat. Mm -hmm. There was a caribou that was too skinny. They let it go because there wasn't much meat on oh. it. So they didn't shoot it. They also won't shoot the leader of a pack because they believe right? that's a spiritual leader and is not just an animal. It's a spirit.